Dogs top five NBA teams of all time. So at number one, you have the 71 72s Lakers. Honestly, that impressive winning streak. I can definitely see that. A lot of people were making fun of this and saying, How old is he? 100 years old, and all this other stuff in the comments. It was kind of funny. Number two, 85 86 Celtics. Definitely a good team. Number three, 66 67 76ers. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't know too much about them. Number four, the 70 71 Bucks. Honestly, that's a good option. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Os Robinson on the same team. Definitely a lethal duo. Number 5, 82, 76ers. If I'm correct, I don't even think they won the championship that year, so it's kind of interesting to put them on there. But this is how I would do my list. At number 1, I would probably put the 95, 96 Bulls somewhere. Number 2, I'd probably keep the 85, 86. I think that's a good option. And number 3, I'd probably have the 86, 87 Lakers. That's definitely a must-have. And then... I don't know, I'd probably put the 2012 Miami Heat somewhere on this list. And then I would probably just finish it off with maybe another Warriors team 2016-2017 with Klay Thompson and just Steph Curry. Comment down below your top five NBA teams of all time, though. Time for Frank Vogel to go, which honestly, in my opinion, I don't think he's really the problem. The defense is really the problem with the Lakers. That's why they've been playing so terribly. They really can't stop anyone. And then, I don't know, I just don't think they're doing it on either side of the ball. Especially offensively, they can't keep up as well. But honestly, they've had really bad losses lately. And they actually might lose the rest of their games outright. It's honestly insane. Joel B dropped 35 points last night. 17 rebounds, 5 assists, 3 of 19 from field goal. Honestly, impressive night from him. Also, his birthday last night. And proving why he's one of the best centers in the NBA. Dropping 35 points and really having a good performance. With a good field goal percentage as well. And 17 rebounds on the same night. The final score of the Mavericks versus the Nets was 113 Mavericks to 111 Nets. And honestly, Kevin Durant had that great of a game. He had 29 points. Definitely a good performance scoring-wise. But Kleba and Brunson were pretty much guarding him the whole night double-teaming. I mean, really got frustrated. Committed a couple fouls on him. And I don't know. For some reason, he was really off down the stretch. But he made a very clutch shot at the end that really sealed the game, we thought, for the Nets. But then Spencer did when he made a very clutch shot to win the game. It was honestly a great game to watch. And you should have watched it because... It was very entertaining. You saw Kevin Durant and Durant at three, and then Spencer didn't win. He come right back and Durant at three, and it was honestly entertaining. Luka Doncic had 37 points, nine rebounds, nine assists, two steals, and five three-pointers made. Honestly, a great shooting performance from him, and really showed why he can become a good shooter.